since I recently spent a week in Nuuk, I thought it'd be nice to share my experience. I spent my first night in the Hotel Hans Eel, which was great and included breakfast, but it was noticeably more expensive than my Airbnb. The following day, my host picked me up from the hotel and brought me to the Airbnb, which was great. My host was amazing, and the Airbnb had a wonderful view of the Noop Kangerlua Fjord. There were also two other guests in the Airbnb, so I was able to make friends and get recommendations from more experienced tourists. They had arrived earlier in August and mentioned that there were no icebergs in the fjord when they had arrived, which were ubiquitous during my visit in September. I had hoped to go out to restaurants to try the local food, however, Due to the rise in Delta at the time, I had to quarantine for the majority of my visit and was not able to experience local culture while dining, and instead cooked for myself. I was able to experience Nuke and local culture by walking around the rocky hillsides and cute neighborhoods like Old Nuke, overhearing locals speak in either Danish or Greenlandic as I stopped to enjoy the beautiful statues sprinkled throughout the city, having little to no issue getting by in English. Once my quarantine ended, I had hoped to learn more about the culture and history at Greenland's National Museum and Archives, but it was closed that day, so instead I went to the Nuuk Art Museum and enjoyed some historical works, as well as more contemporary pieces that I absolutely loved, including these two, which I had hoped to get prints of, but unfortunately the gift shop didn't have them. There were many bone-carved statues depicting various aspects of tradition and life in Greenland, including this beautiful sculpture carved from a walrus skull. There were also some thought-provoking self-portraits that compared and contrasted with the world of selfies that we are so familiar with today. Beautiful yet darker scenes of Greenland were also depicted, as well as those more colorful representing Greenland's natural beauty and more familial scenes. One of the things I was able to do during my quarantine was go hiking with friends, and there's a nice network of trails around Kwasasawak Mountain near the airport. It was wonderful to be out in the fresh air, getting to see life rising out from the rocks into the sunlight, despite the temperature falling every night, keeping balance between the cold and the warmth that the sun brought to the rocky hillsides and valleys, bringing life to even the iciest of pools, while others were warmed just enough to tempt for an afternoon dip. On another day, a friend and I took a more strenuous hike up to a peak, getting to see beautiful rock formations along the way, as well as more pools of high altitude water. The peak elevation was at approximately 660 meters and offered stunning views of Koba Fjord to the south and Nupkangerlua Fjord to the north, which we enjoyed before rushing down the trail towards the setting sun. Thanks for watching.